What's going on everybody? This is Bronco Juggalo and I should be in bed already. Uh, but I just finished this movie and I wanted to get this review up before I went to bed because it's fresh and I enjoyed it and I want to get the review up. Guys, today is Slashback Saturday. Well, not actually, but it's coming out on Slashback Saturday. And this week's theme is Legendary Slashers. Now, we don't mean like legendary as in Michael Myers or Jason or Freddy. Those guys are legendary. The movie has to have a legend in it. Uh, be based around some sort of legend. And today I am doing Candyman 2, Farewell to the Flesh. Directed by Bill Condon and starring Tony Todd again as the titular character of the Candyman. Fucking love the Candyman. As you know, the first film I reviewed a few weeks ago, I'll leave a link to it in case you want to go to that and check that out. The follow-up sequel, while not as good as the original and met with quite a few mixed reviews, in my opinion, is still pretty good and I have a lot of fun with the movie. Three years after the events of the first movie, the legend of Candyman has truly infiltrated New Orleans due to the events in Chicago and the events that had started to happen around the New Orleans area and the original legend of the Candyman. Daniel Robitaille, the Candyman, is back to extract more vengeance, all because young school teacher Annie calls his name to show her children in the class that it is not real. That was a huge mistake. Uh, guys, I only really have one con in this film. It's that a lot of the supporting cast, the acting is just not good. I don't like a lot of the supporting cast acting, including the guy at the beginning who's uh, the brother to Annie. His acting is terrible, especially in the opening sequence with the professor from the first movie. It's just really bad. You killed my father. You and just like very robotic sounding and just very bad. Uh, some of the other actors are not very good. The lady who plays the cop, I didn't think she did a good job. I don't think that um, Annie herself is all that great. But I love, 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 as I said, that's my only con. I love, love, love Tony Todd once again. This guy is so good, he is so intimidating, creepy, scary seductive, charismatic, all at the same time. And that is a quality that is very, very rare in horror actors. Love the gore of this film. It is a great, bloody, gory film. And they use practical effects, and they're done very well. And as one of the critics who didn't like this film said, it's got enough blood and gore to keep you entertained, even though it's not that good of a movie. There have been critics that even called this movie racist propaganda, and I think that is baloney. Once again, they do talk about some issues that need to be discussed. Now, not quite as subtle or even pushed as hard as in the first movie. This was more of a straight-up slasher than the first movie was. The first movie was definitely a supernatural slasher, but it had more political and social overtones. This one was just more of a fun slasher. I love the flashback scenes, and I love that we get more of the legend of the Candyman. Uh, it expands on the legend that we started in the first film, and we get to really see everything that happened there. We get to fill out that story a little bit more. Sometimes when they do these sequels and they add more to the backstories, it can convolute things, like the way it did in Scream 3. But in this case, it really does help the story, and I really enjoy it. Farewell to the Flesh, in my opinion, is a decent film. It is a fun film. Grab your popcorn, watch the movie, just like Bill and I were talking about with Species. So that is it, guys. That is my review for Candyman, Farewell to the Flesh, on this Slashback Saturday where we're talking legendary slashers. Go and check out everybody else who's done Slashback Saturday today. And, of course, check out my good buddy, Joe the Horror Man. He created Slashback Saturday. He is responsible, and he is the man. I hope you all enjoyed this review. This is Bronco Juggalo saying peace.